electronic configuration and the types of element here the types of elements in s block p block d block and f block element based on the half principle the electronic configuration of atom provide a theoretical foundation for the periodic classification here uh, already we see uh, we were uh, discussed the group and column the vertical column of the periodic table is called group and the horizontal row is called it is uh, periods group and periods not columns here uh, the similarity arises uh, the elements having the same number and the same distribution of the electron so same number and the same distribution of electron the for example that's mean uh, in valence cell that is out or outermost cell for example s yes block they end with ns p block they end with np d block they end with the uh, np f block they end with n f that's mean n f and n s like this that's mean uh, the number of electrons that is 1 to 2 1 to 6 here n uh, n d not n p 1 to 10 1 to 14 like this so this is the valence electronic configuration first we will discuss uh, here the exception of the hydrogen and helium there is two cases ex exception that is hydrogen and helium hydrogens the electronic configuration is 1 s 1 the helium atom electronic configuration is 1 s 2 here the helium placed in a p block element hydrogen placed in a group 1 that is alkali metals uh, why because mean hydrogen carries electro positive charge so that's why hydrogen is the lightest element and uh, that's why they are placed in the first element then uh, one more attains uh, it attains one more electron gains mean to attain the noble gas configuration the helium already the uh, subshells are the valence cells are completely filled so that they are the properties like noble gas that's why helium is placed in the P, uh, P block element that is group 18 that is inert gases then first S yes block elements the S yes block elements uh, the outer electronic that is group 1 and group 1 and the group 2 elements are called S yes block elements the group 1 elements are called alkali metals the group 2 is called alkaline earth metal so the the outer electronic configuration this uh, just end with for group 1 ns1 and the group 2 ns2 the n indicates 1s 2s that numbers so they are all reactive metals with having a very low uh, that's mean low ionization enthalpy they lose the outermost electron readily to form plus one for group one and plus two for the group two that is alkali and the alkaline earth metals the metallic character and the reactivity increases uh, go down the group because they have high reactivity they they are they are never found pure in nature so the compounds are S block element with the exception of those of lithium and beryllium are predominantly ionic. Then P block element. This element comprises in group uh, 13 to group 18. So these are called uh, P block element uh, and the respective C. Uh, that is the representative elements are uh, main group ele elements are also called main groups element the outermost electronic configuration varies from ns2 
एन पी वन टू एन एस टू एन पी सिक्स दट्स मीन ग्रूप थर्टीन टू ग्रूप एटीन and at the end of the each uh, period in the noble gas elements with the closed valence cells that is the ns2 uh, np6 so that they are inert and also called inert gas noble gas like this because the completely filled electron the p orbitals having the completely filled electron so this is the only i'm telling the outer electronic configuration so when the uh, completely filled electron it's very difficult to alter this uh, stable arrangements by the addition or removal of electron so then the noble gas does exhibit very low chemical reactivity and preceding the noble gas uh, family are two chemically important groups that is non metal they are called halogens uh, and uh, group 17 and the group 16 is chalcogens the two uh, the two groups of elements uh, have highly negative electron gain enthalpies and readily add one or two electron to respectively to attain the stable noble gas configuration so the non metallic character increases uh, from left to right across the period and metallic character increases go down the group so these are called p block element the next is a d block element here the group 3 2 group 3 2 group 3 2 12 elements are called transition metal or d block elements these are the characterized by the filling of inner d orbitals uh, by electron therefore referred as a d block elements or transition metal the elements having the general outer electronic configuration like this that is n minus 1 d 1 to 10 ns 0 to 2 uh, they are all metal and mostly forms colored ions exhibit in water that is in exhibit variable valencies that is oxidation state magnetic behavior mostly the paramagnetism and often used as a catalysis that however zinc cadmium mercury uh, which the electronic configuration is that is uh, outer electronic configuration is ns um, n minus 1 uh, d10 and ns2 do not show the most of the pro uh, properties of the transition element that's why these element does not consider as a transition element in way the transition metals uh, form a bridge between the chemically active metals of s block elements and the less active elements of a uh, group 13 and 14 uh, thus they uh, take their familiar name is called transition element next is f block elements are also called inner transition element this is f block or inner transition element that is the periodic table lanthanides and the actinides that is cerium the atomic number z is 58 and uh, 2 lutetium the atomic number 71 uh, these are called lanthanides and the atomic number thorium 2 lawrencium atomic number is 90 and the lawrencium lr 103 so these are called actinides the actinides is a radi highly radioactive elements see the outer the general outer electronic configuration will be n minus 2 f 1 to 14 n minus 1 d 0 to 1 and n s 2 uh, the last electron added to the each element is filled in f orbital so these two series are elements are uh, called inner transition elements are f block elements they are all here also 
all elements are metal uh, within each series the p uh, properties of the elements are quite similar the chemistry of the early actinoids is more complicated uh, than the than the corresponding lanthanide due to the large number of the oxidation states the possible for the actinoids element and actinoids elements are highly radioactive also so many of the actinoids elements have been made only in the nanogram quantities or in even less by nuclear reaction and their chemistry is not fully studied and the, uh, the elements after uranium are called trans uranium elements the next is uh, in a periodic elements they are classified metals non metals and, and the metalloid uh, that is the divided cases here the metals comprises more than 78 percentage of all known elements are appear and appear on the left hand side in the periodic table you can look at the periodic table uh, that is s block elements they are metals uh, and d block element that is are metal that's metals are usually solids at room temperature exception of mercury Merc mercury at room temperature in liquid form mercury is the only liquid form of the metal and uh, the metals are uh, usually when they have this and the cesium the gas not only that um, uh, mercury even cesium and uh, gallium also have a very low melting point that is 303 kelvin and this is 303 kelvin uh, and the 302 kelvin this um, uh, cesium and gallium the very very low melting point so uh, at uh, slightly the room temperature temperature lightly increases slightly increases mean these are also liquid form and the metals are usually have high melting and boiling point they are good conductors of heat and electricity they are malleable uh, and ductile so in contrast the non metals are located in the top right uh, ha right hand side that is Uh, in periodic table like this so is here d uh, this this is called s block and this is called p block and this is called d block and the down to row is called f block here these are alkali metals and these are alkaline earth metals and these are completely metals here the p block elements most of the elements are non metals metalloids and semi metals uh, so in the periodic table that is in horizontal row that is uh, here look the d orbitals having 10 3 4 so 10 elements are present so that up to group 1 to group 18 element in fact the horizontal row the properties of the elements changes from the metallic on the left to, to non metallic on the right so non metals are usually solids or gases at room temperature so here the non metals non metals and metal metal also present the metallic character increases from top to uh, bottom uh, here completely metals some gaseous compounds also present here uh, the, uh, they are very poor conductor of heat and electricity that's mean non metals and most non metallic solids are brittle and uh, neither um, malleable nor ductile the elements become more metallic as we go down the group and non metallic character increases uh, once goes from the left to right across the periodic table